Tiny Teaching Soup. Cinderella. Once upon a time, in a quaint village nestled among rolling hills, lived a young girl named Cinderella. She was kind-hearted and gentle, but her life was far from easy. After the passing of her beloved parents, Cinderella found herself at the mercy of her cruel stepmother and stepsisters. They treated her like a servant, forcing her to toil away in their grand house while they enjoyed lives of luxury. Despite the hardships, Cinderella never lost her optimism or her belief in the power of kindness. She found solace in the company of the animals that roamed the countryside, and they became her faithful companions. One day, news spread throughout the village that the prince was hosting a grand ball at the palace, inviting all eligible maidens in the kingdom. Cinderella's stepsisters buzzed with excitement, preparing their finest gowns and dreaming of capturing the prince's heart. But Cinderella, with her ragged clothes and weary spirit, knew she would never be allowed to attend such a prestigious event. As the day of the ball approached, Cinderella's hopes dwindled. She watched wistfully as her stepsisters departed for the palace, leaving her behind to tend to their wet. Alone in her attic chamber, tears welled in Cinderella's eyes as she gazed upon the stars wishing for a chance to escape her dreary existence. Suddenly, a gentle voice echoed through the room. Cinderella looked up to find a radiant fairy godmother standing before her, her shimmering wings casting a warm glow. With a wave of her wand, the fairy godmother transformed Cinderella's tattered rags into a breathtaking gown of shimmering silk, and her worn shoes into delicate glass slippers that sparkled like diamonds. Go, my dear! The fairy godmother said with a tender smile, You shall attend the ball and seize your destiny. Overwhelmed with gratitude, Cinderella set off for the palace, her heart pounding with anticipation. As she entered the grand ballroom, all eyes turned to her and whispers of awe filled the air. The prince himself was captivated by her beauty, and he approached her with a gentle smile. For the rest of the evening, Cinderella danced with the prince, her worries fading away in his presence. As the clock struck midnight, she remembered her fairy godmother's warning and fled from the palace, leaving behind a single glass slipper. In her haste, Cinderella lost one of her glass slippers on the palace steps. The prince, determined to find the mysterious maiden who had stolen his heart, searched the kingdom far and wide, trying the slipper on every maiden's foot. 
Finally, the prince arrived at Cinderella's humble home. Sisters tried in vain to squeeze their feet into the delicate slipper. But when Cinderella swept her foot into the glass slipper, it fit perfectly. And she revealed herself as the prince's true love. Overjoyed, the prince swept Cinderella into his arms and declared her his princess. Together, they rode off into the sunset, leaving behind the troubles of the past and embarking on a future filled with love and happiness. And so, Cinderella's story had a happy ending, proving that kindness and courage can triumph over